<sighs> Hi guys, welcome back once again. You might be wondering why I'm sweating like this. I just finished. We just finished. We don't finish doing what? <laughs> <laughs> we just finished. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished with the Zanku dance tutorial. And yeah, we just want to do a brief Gora Gora tutorial for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's just start. There's no, we're not doing so much. Just no no. for those that are still having difficulty doing the Gora Gora. So yeah. Okay, so Gora Gora basically is. Um, it's also just leg movement as well, but uh, um, the leg movement is a bit more tedious. <sighs> oh, it's Zanku is tedious. All right, so this is the basic thing. Get your legs spread out, and basic thing is your movement out, in, out, in, out. In. That's it. So, so you know, this you other leg know. is static. You can use either leg, but it depends on which one you're more comfortable with or the one you have more control over, basically. So I'm a right-handed person, definitely right-legged, right-legged. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just the basic thing. I'm going to be using my right leg. So I go out, in, out, in, and this one is static. Now you see people using their hand and stuff, that's the, this is the basic, but the hand comes after. So we go out, in, out, in, out, in, out. In. We're going to this, but the movement is faster in this this tempo. Let me show you. So we're doing something like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So now, one thing you need to also know is that it's better when you're like this, doing your guagua, gua, bend, leaning forward like this. Right? <laughs> so we do one, two, one, two. It's easier for you to have control by your leg in that posture. So let's face front again. So you see what it looks like. One, two, three, go. One, two, one, two, one, two. So that's it. So the next thing that we do is we add the hand movement to it. So the hand movement can vary from as if you are grinding something. Your hand goes like this. Yes. So your hand is the one is kind of like controlling your legs. So it's going with your legs. It's going with your legs, like this. So this is the hand movement I'm doing. This is the hand movement. You just continue like this, and then your leg is like. So your leg and your hand continue to move together. So this is like leg is static. So we're going one, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, another thing, another trick for the leg is, if it's difficult for you to move it straight like this, you can place this leg a bit forward and this trick, the trick is your leg goes yes, like this. So if you, your leg is forward a bit, it's easier for you to go in and out. So you can now use that to do this. You understand? Anything you do basically, it depends on, not everybody's going to have the same body posture, leg, bone, arrangement and stuff. So anything that makes you have this motion is okay. Then you can add your hands to it and do any stuff you want, you know? So. We just going to do something real quick. this video and you'd like to see more of this drop a comment i'm so tired <laughs> thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one bye bye <laughs>